What is going on, guys? We are back. We just went from, what was it, from Sholo to Phoenix on that left episode, and now we are in Phoenix. Um, I do want to get a... See here, Phoenix is where we're at. I want to get a uh, market going out. 5,000. Uh, Phoenix to Yuma. Phoenix to Yuma sounds really good. So we are going to go from Phoenix to Yuma. Um, ooh, it's just saying take job, like straight up take the job. Oh, that's quick jobs. That's why. Um, I was like, why is that just saying take job? That shouldn't take say take job. We need to go to the freight market is what we need. All right, now we are in Phoenix, and we are going to go same job almost. Um, except it looks like it pay, might pay a little bit more. Um, from the Kims to the rail export. So we are going to set that as our GPS location here. And then another thing we are going to do, because we're here and we're rested, is we are going to come over here and we are going to customize and repair. I don't know how much customization we're going to be able to do. We only got 17,000. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get it serviced. Um, repair. There we go. Now we got that service. Now let's see if there's any uh, configurations, uh, anything new. Um, oop, we got something here. We can get a bug deflector. Look at that, two hundred dollars. I'll take it. Um, I wish it was a painted bug deflector. I actually don't like the uh, chrome look. Uh, I know I'm weird. I'm playing a truck simulator. And I don't like chrome. What the hell is wrong with you, Fox? I know. I know. I already know. All right, but it is what it is. You know. I, I, I just not a big fan of chrome um but we're gonna go ahead and go here we can get uh fancier wheels look at that another set of fancier wheels another set of fancier wheels now what are those buttons i have not seen those buttons yet hub cover and nuts so oh you can change the nuts Look at that, and a hub cover. Nope, I can't get a hub cover. Level six, so that'll be next level. Um, but we can, uh, ooh, the hub, you can change. Okay, so it doesn't have an option there, but we can definitely uh, change that. And like I said, coming at level six, there's gonna be a uh, hub cover that we can get. Um, now on this one right here, we're gonna click there. I'm gonna go to the nuts again. We're gonna see if we can't. Nope, they don't have a, uh, that's the hub cover. I don't know what I think about that. I don't know what I think about that. That's a little interesting, but uh, all right. We got our uh, nuts. Uh, we got everything, so. Um, main mirrors, we already did. Um, was that a beacon? I can get a beacon. No, sun visor. Um, not available with light adapter to install light adapter needs to be removed. No, I like the lights. I, I like the lights. We're going to keep the lights instead of the sun visor. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Confirm order. Um, and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and go out. And we've got, look at that. We've got all our fancy mirrors now. Um, definitely going to be handy uh seeing down the side making sure uh nobody's beside us and whatnot um definitely going to be really handy um and i like how all the uh get the uh, truck started up here turn the lights on um i like how all the uh, mirrors are functional uh, that's my biggest pet peeve about gta is the mirrors aren't functional so if you guys skipped your uh to this video uh do the drama from the last video there will be no drama in this uh this video uh we were just going over uh Going over what was going on and uh, why I left DHS in that uh, last video. So uh, if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to see the full overview of why um, me and uh, the owner of DHS don't get along um, and stuff like that, then you're free to go watch the other vi video. Um, but other than that, uh, this video is going to be uh, just pretty much, uh, you know, we're just going to be going to Yuma. We're going to be getting our truck and we're going to head out, head out to Yuma. Now I also got to get fuel. Um, I was kind of hoping that we'd pass a fuel station. Yes, we are going to pass a fuel station on the way to get our pickup. So we'll get it fueled up on our way out of town here in Phoenix. Uh, looks like our pickup's uh, 
out at the chemical place. So, that'll work. Turn signal, make sure nobody's coming. Move Bobtail over here to uh, gas station, get some fuel. And we still got 14,000. Now, I didn't check to see if we could order, afford any engine upgrades or anything like that. Um, I'm really debating whether or not I'm going to. So, like with the trucks, you have uh, two different options of ways that you can do it on here. So, uh,. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Suck my penis. Um, sorry. I shouldn't say that. Uh, but, uh, anyways, you got two ways you can do it. You can, like, straight just jump to the, uh, bigger, better trucks. Or you can slowly, over time, um, upgrade your truck to the bigger, better truck. Alright, he's stopping. He's stopping. So, I'm going. Alright. So, speed limit is 35 now. Um, now, I don't need to worry about setting that just yet because we're going to turn into the gas station here. Um, now, I like filling up on the way to pick up a trailer. I like filling up when we're on bobtailing. Because um, if you get lucky and it's a nice... Uh, you get lucky and it's a nice, you know, like, truck stop with, you know, big things to pull through, then that's really nice. You know, you get lucky. But, uh, most of the time it's these little, uh, rinky deep gas stations and you're just finding a diesel pump and, uh, you know, pumping up that way. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's definitely, uh, definitely easier to not do it that way. It's definitely easier to just, uh, you know, pull in through because whenever you got a, a, uh, whenever you got a trailer behind you, sometimes, uh, you misjudge um where that trailer's at now i don't know if uh i've actually never ran into the gas pumps on uh ats so i don't know what happens when you do um i know what happens on other video games whenever you run into gas and gas pumps and i think most of you guys know what happens on other video games whenever you uh run into gas pumps but uh yeah i don't know what happens on here but i don't want to find out and i don't want that trailer to be uh Kicking over into it. Yeah, we're gonna kick up here to. Uh, apparently, we got seven miles to go. We're gonna uh, go up here to the, the uh, chemicals place and uh, pick up our trailer. Uh, this is the benefits of having our hazmats, is we can take these uh, chemical orders. So. That's why I always get my hazmat first, and then I work on, uh, because I'm not even worried about long routes, because these, this route duration, like, this route length is almost perfect, right? So, because with these routes, and this route length, this maximum route length I have, it leaves the, uh, videos at about 30 minutes apiece, which winds up being perfect, so I don't want any routes longer than this, um, because if I have that, then, you know, my, each, uh, video is gonna go on to be, like, an hour long, um, and I don't need to have an hour long video. So um, after we get all of our hazmat stuff, then we're gonna start getting the uh, just in time delivery stuff. And we're gonna be starting to get our uh, high value cargo stuff. But I'm not really worried about trip distance. Uh, fuel economy is also important. Uh, we are paying for our own gas right now. Um, but more important is uh, getting paid more. Because the fuel economy savings aren't really as... I mean, they're, they're, they're big and they're good, but they're not great. Um, let's see here. We got Freight Market, and we've got... That one is the one. So this is the same distance. But almost, almost twice as much. And you know why? Because it's got that Hazard Class 3. That's why. So that's why I get the... Uh, you know, people are like, oh, Fox, why are you going after your uh, hazmats first? You know, why don't you work on this or work on that or blah, blah, blah. That's why, because hazmats pay almost twice as much um, as regular. All right, now we are starting off at night, which I don't necessarily like, um, but it is what it is. Now, what are we expected uh, between 2.30 a.m. and... 
903 uh, a.m. Okay, so pretty pretty big window. Um, I was gonna say, what's what's my ETA to get there? But right now it's uh, navigating me to the uh, to the trailer. So of course it's saying I'm gonna get there at uh, the time without it is now. Let's get backed up here. And again, I know I'm not getting under it perfect, um, but the fifth wheels don't really work um, in game like they do in real life, anyways. Uh, real world, whenever you hit that fifth wheel, the uh, whenever you hit that fifth wheel, the uh, kingpin uh, comes into it, you know, and you you feel it uh, sliding into it, and then you feel it lock and. You know, you, you physically feel uh, it hit. Um, in game here, they don't have that. Um, pretty much what happens is you just hit the trailer and then you damage the trailer. And then you don't get paid as much because you damage the trailer. So I have no, uh, I have no desire to be damaging trailers and all that. So I just get close, um, get close and uh, get her done, you know? All right, uh, nobody w was coming from that way. Double check. Nope, don't see anybody. I need to uh, maybe uh, up the look sensitivity. Oof. Uh, I hope they didn't like their stop sign because their stop sign's gone. <laughs> uh, so this trailer is a little bit longer. We're going to have to uh, keep that in mind as we're driving around. But yeah, um, we should have... I think we're going to do six videos today. Um, we're going to do probably six videos and then probably do another... Uh, you know, maybe another five or six tomorrow. Um, it'll take me about three to four hours to uh, get them recorded. Um, and then we'll be doing starting the streaming back up tomorrow, too. Don't forget to uh, check out FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com. Uh, you can click on the th menu uh, button at the top, and you can see stream sites. Um, I do stream on this YouTube channel, so if you're following the YouTube channel, you will see the streams. Um, I also stream to Mixer, Twitch, Facebook Gaming, um, Picaro, and uh, Periscope. So you can get all those links at foxtrotdeltausn.com, along with the merchandise. Because cool kids wear my merch, right? So that's how that works. Five, sixty, sixty-five. There it is. All right. Of course, I say that right now. I don't even have any of my merch. I need to order some. Um, wait for uh, funds to come through. Because I am broke right now, so since I'm broke, then, uh, you know, sitting around making YouTube is what I'm doing right now. Yeah. But it's all good. It's all good. We'll grow the community. We'll get her there. Uh, you know, just, it is what it is. You know, you got to constantly put out content. Going to Yuma. Yuma, Yuma, Yuma. Um, now, uh, tomorrow, whenever I do the uh, next set of videos, I am going to uh, look into mods. Um, I'm going to be looking for a modification that, uh, pretty much like a quality modification, so it makes the, uh, you know, makes the scenery pop a little bit more, makes it a little bit more realistic. Um, I'm not looking for photorealistic. All I have is a GTX 970. Um, so I don't know that I would be able to support photorealistic, but, uh, you know, something that's, uh, something that's, uh, you know, enough. All right, I'm going to turn off my brights because I don't want to be blinding those guys. I know they don't really care they are AIs, but it's good practice. Um, well, like I said, we're going to see about, uh, getting the, uh, getting the mods and, uh, seeing what we can do with that. Now there's another thing uh, that's out there. It's uh, so the guy American Truck Simulator Online. Um, I've played it, and it's not bad. Um, you do get idiots on there, obviously. You know, just like you get idiots anywhere else. Um, but it ain't bad. Um, the only thing that gets me is like you'll be doing a convoy. You're like, oh yeah, you know, we got 40, 40 trucks running from uh, Phoenix to Flagstaff or whatever it is. You know. Um, you know, and you're like, okay, you know, we got 40 trucks. Well, 
all this time you're stopping, you're stopping, you're stopping. You know, I gotta use the restroom, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And it's like, well, you know, we've got 20 miles to go. Oh, well, I gotta go. It's like, well, we're leaving here. Um, now, the Discord, I'm going to uh, create an ATS uh, channel, uh, Play With Fox channel, and uh, we might start doing, uh, we might start doing uh, convoys and stuff on there. Uh, you guys might be able to uh, pitch in and play. Um, and we recorded and put it on YouTube. That's definitely something that's a possibility. So if you guys play ATS, uh, join the Discord. Um, the link is found at foxtrotdeltausn.com. Um, I'm not going to put all the links in the description to everything. All I'm going to do is put the one link, just foxtrotdeltausn.com. So you guys can go there and everything is there. The Discord's there, the donation's there, the Patreon's there. Um, the merchandise is there, the uh, partnership stuff. So uh, if you guys want to... Uh, you know join audible or you guys want to you know join kindle or you know whatever amazon's got on there that you want because everything's on there i got all of amazon's uh savings on there for you guys i made sure it was all in one place uh, but yeah if you guys want to see that it's uh literally just go foxtrotdeltausn.com and click on partners uh once you click on partners they got all the affiliate links there it's all the uh so pretty much what it is is the first one that just says Amazon. That's an Amazon associate link, right? So what happens with that is you're like, well, I, I need to buy a new, you know, name random thing you buy on Amazon, right? A gaming keyboard or a mouse or whatever, right? And you're like, oh, I want to buy a new, you know, tube of toothpaste. I don't know what you guys are buying on Amazon. But anyways, you want to buy something on Amazon. You're like, oh, well, I want to help Fox out. So literally all you can do is go to uh, foxtrotdeltausn.com click on partners just save that website as your amazon because then you literally just go to foxtrotdelta.com forward slash support through affiliates which is that link whenever you click on partners um you go there you saved it bookmarked you go there you click on amazon and then everything you buy gets credited to the to the uh channel so it helps me get better uh get better equipment helps me uh get better everything else i mean the whole reason you're hearing me so well right now is because uh, you guys helped, uh, you know, you guys did stuff like that. And I was able to use my Amazon uh, credits to buy a Razer Siren X, you know. The whole reason my back isn't killing me right now is because I was able to use the money that you get, uh, you know, you guys donated and you guys, uh, you know, spent on merch and everything like that to uh, get a better uh, chair to support my back, you know. Um, the whole reason why I'm on stream, you guys can see me see me so clearly, is because you guys raised the money to uh, buy the webcam. You know, you guys raised the money to get the lighting um, and stuff like that. So I could not do this stuff without you guys. Uh, just plain and simple, I couldn't do it. And uh, you know, that's how you help me out. Is you know, it's just doing stuff you were already gonna do. You know, and just using my links to do it. You know, because every time you click on that Amazon link and buy something, guess what? Amazon's like, oh hey, hey Fox, thanks so much for sending uh, Joe show Joe so and so to us. You know. He spent, you know, 20 bucks on, you know, a new headset. Here's, you know, two to three bucks for uh, sending them over this way. You know, that's how it works. And it definitely, uh, definitely helps out whenever you guys do that. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm done begging for money. But yeah, FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com, all the links are there. And like I said, don't forget to check out the partners for Amazon Savings. That's one of the bad things about uh, doing ATS is uh, pretty much all I'm doing is sitting here, uh, you know, driving along. So, you know, you got to come up with stuff to talk about. Because um, you got to realize each of these videos is half an hour. So I got to talk to you guys for half an hour. And, uh, you know, sometimes the website comes up. When a website comes up, it's like, hey, you know, this is my full-time job. Um, now, about myself, if you guys don't know, um, I was in the Navy for seven years. I got injured in the line of duty, and I got medically retired. So whenever I was in, I was a Master at Arms. If you guys don't know what that is, it's uh, military law enforcement for the Navy. Uh, the Army and the Marine Corps have military police. The Air Force has security forces. The Navy has Master at Arms. It's all the exact same job, um, just different names. Now, of course, the jobs do fluctuate a little bit. For example, there's nobody in the Army doing a harbor patrol. Right? There's nobody in the Air Force, uh, you know, providing a shipboard, uh, you know, doing brig afloat, you know, which is pretty much uh, corrections uh, at sea, uh, which I've done. And that's uh, very, uh, very interesting to do. You're uh, sitting down there in the brig, um, 
I remember I was on the Roosevelt and uh, we had just gotten out of the yards. Um, and what we had gone to the yards for was uh, what was called uh, RCOH, uh, Refueling and Complex Overhaul. So they pretty much like teared the sh tore the ship down um, to its bare bones. They refilled the uh, refueled the uh, nuclear reactor, so they replaced all the uh, cores. And uh, like I said, they they completely rebuilt the ship essentially. Um, so after that, after you get out, then uh, the ship has to be qualified. Um, and certified for uh, everything that it's doing. Um, and one of the things that's certified is the brig, right? So you get the, uh, you know, just like a small town, you know, the uh, ship is a small town. You get 3,000 to 5,000 people on board, especially whenever you're on deployment, you've got a full air air, air wing on board. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is it's not just air, one air wing on board. There's usually three to four air wings on board, right? So you'll have a couple... Uh, jet air wings a couple helicopter air wings and then you also have the transport uh wings so like the c2 greyhounds and all them um so yeah it's a couple air wings that are on board so ship's crew was usually i think three thousand people um so that's the people that uh maintain the uh, ship itself uh, you know that's everybody from the people down in the engine bay to the cooks to uh myself you know doing the, the doing law enforcement to you know everything and then you have an additional 2,000 people that are from the air wings um, so that's 5,000 people total so you know that's a small city and you know a small city has to have a police force so that's why we were there uh, there's only like 12 MAs per ship uh, now that changed with the USS uh, Ford but uh, I'll tell you guys more about that in the next video um, but yeah so you know we have a law enforcement uh, force on the ship and uh you know we also had a jail on the ship you know it was it was small it was about the size of probably your bedroom that you're in right now you know it wasn't uh that big at all and we had a gin pop that i think had i want to say 12 racks in it uh it was uh pretty much like bunk beds and but instead of being too high they were three high and uh there were four sets of three uh four sets of uh racks and then I believe there was, uh, like I said, that was in the gen pop. And like I said, that room was tiny. Um, I couldn't imagine having 12 people in there because they'd just be tripping over each other all day. Um, and then we had two segregation cells, uh, which honestly, each of those cells were as big as gen pop. So I'd, I'd much rather be in segregation than I would like to be in gen pop. Um, and then uh, outside of that, they had a uh, restroom. Of course, everything's open. The uh, the personnel uh, stand in the brig duty. Uh, we, we see everything. They uh, change in front of us. They shower in front of us. They use the restroom in front of us. There is no privacy. Um, but anyway, so uh, once our brig got certified, it's a story I'm trying to tell here. Uh, once our brig got certified, then uh, our CO started using, our commanding officer started using the brig. He had a new shiny, brand new shiny brig and he used it. Uh, we had quite a few people uh, I don't know if you guys uh, have ever watched like old uh, old movies where you know with pirates or uh, you know ship sailing or whatever you know and you'll hear them say you know put them on bread and water you know um, you know kind of as, as naval punishment you know you do three days bread and water uh, that's a real thing uh, that that is absolutely 100% real uh, it does happen uh, so what happens is. Uh, Whenever you're put on bread and water, the CO, you know, you'll go to Captain's Mass for doing something stupid. Um, and the CO will be like, look, you know, I'll give you the choice. Sometimes they give him a choice. I saw the CO give a couple guys a choice of, look, you can either do 45-45, uh, which is 45 days restriction to the ship, 45 days extra duty. So at sea, what that means is for 45 days, even if we pull into a port, you don't get to go to shore. Right? You don't get to uh, go visit that uh you don't get to visit that country. Um, you're just stuck. And for 45 days, you get extra duty as well. So that means you do your normal job, and then you muster with the MAs, with us, and we assign you to extra duty. It was usually cleaning our shit. Um, the MA, the, the uh, police precinct on the ship was spotless. All of our brass work shined freaking, because we had restrict our, uh, restricted personnel, and uh, they had extra duty, and we got to assign that extra duty. Um, but yeah, or they give them the option of either doing that or uh, doing three days bread and water. And guys would. They'd uh, 
you know, be like, oh, well, I'll do three days bread and water. Well, whenever that happens, um, you go down to medical, you get cleared, because they have to make sure that you're healthy enough to do three days of bread and water. Um, and then after that, you get locked up in the brig, and for three days, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you get a, a loaf of bread and a, uh, you know, access to the water. And you get 15 minutes to eat as much bread as you want. You can get your fill. Um, I think it's 15 minutes. I don't know. I've slept since then. It's been a couple of years. But uh, I think it's 15 minutes. It might be half an hour, but I think it's 15 minutes. You get to eat, and during that time, you get to eat whatever you're going to eat. And then after that, you know, you're done. Um, and like I said, you do three days in there. And then after that, your punishment's over, and, you know, you're good to go. So I'd rather do, and a lot of people would rather do three days of bread and water and uh, being in confinement than, uh, you know, be stuck uh, 45 days extra duty, 45 days restriction, um, all that fun shit. So that's why a lot of people did the uh, three days bread and water. Now I gotta see how I'm gonna do this. We might do a goal here in a second, get out and look. Um, make sure that I'm swinging this around. I'm not gonna hit that. I think I'm good. Um, yeah, I'm good. All right. So I still want to kick it. I want to get as close over there as I can. Now, I wish I was doing this during the daytime, just so I can kind of see a little bit better. But I think I want to be kind of towards the middle here. Um, yeah, towards the middle seems like it's going to be the best option. Uh, now we're going to start kicking it towards the uh, parking marker. And I swear to God, if that thing comes up, skip skip parking with blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be pissed because I'm actually doing decently so far. Now, that's so far, that doesn't mean... Uh, and continue to be decently, but there it is. Skip parking. Press A. No, we're not skipping parking. All right, so now we need to really seriously cut it. That's actually uh, going pretty well so far. I think it just a little bit more that way. It might take it. It might take it. There we go. There we go. See, we're getting better at this. We're getting better at this. Let's see what the results are. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. We didn't level up to level 5, though. Alright. Let's go find a rest area. Oof. Um, while I was there, actually. I should have found the uh, rest area while I was there. Um, of course, there's probably a rest area right in town here. Um, actually, yeah, there's one. I'd love to see where that's at, but it's at the, uh, the, I want to say like Voss, because there's a, uh, in, uh, Cuba, Missouri, not too far from me. Um, in Cuba, Missouri, there's a, uh, Voss truck sub, so I want to say Voss, but I don't know what that actually is, but we're going to, uh, we're gonna head over there and see if we can get to that uh, get to that rest stop. And to get there, just because I like the look of fully drawn maps, we're gonna go around this way. It's because by going around this way, it draws in the uh, draws in the map. Go. That's supposed to be the air horn. That air horn is not very loud. Yeah, we're going around this way. There we go. We're going to go into the truck parking up here. All right, guys. Don't forget to check out FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com. Check out all the links there. There's the Amazon stuff through the partner's link. There's... Uh, the Patreon on there, there's the merchandise store, there's all sorts of stuff on there. You can join the Discord, join the discussion. Um, 
good lord i don't even know what all is on there there's a link to my gear so if you want to use something that i'm using there's a link to where you can uh, buy it on amazon and also support the stream uh there are amazon affiliate links uh as you guys know i'm big with amazon affiliate um other than that guys be good to each other be good to yourself um i really didn't get anything else uh for you i'm gonna come over here see if i can find this uh oh good lord could you imagine coming in here with the trailer oh man could you imagine coming in here with the trailer that would suck all right, guys, I will see you guys in the next one.